Kwai Liang and I were working hard to build our new clan. But even with the help of his close friend Harumi, it was difficult. The biggest problem was finding the right initiates. Then, one night, while walking outside Harumi's compound, I was attacked. I thought at first it was a Lin Kuei assassin, but his strikes were too uncertain, too angry. My attacker, it turns out, was a boy. Homeless and hungry, his assault was born of desperation. He needed money so that he could eat. It was like looking at myself 15 years ago. I would have ended up just like him if the Lin Kuei hadn't taken me in. So I took the boy to Kuai Liang, who also appreciated his fire. We made him our first initiate. The boy's name? Hanzo Hasashi. I had broken the Lin Kuei free of Liu Kang's enslavement. We were now masters of our destiny and could take our place among Earthrealm's great nations. But taking and holding territory would require a vast army. I needed more fighters to make our presence felt. Then I recalled Shang Tsung's dragon warriors. An army of them would be unstoppable. But trafficking in such strong magic would surely draw Liu Kang's attention. Sector advised that we avoid detection by building our army using science, not sorcery. We've invested much into this endeavor, and we are beginning to see results. Once again proving the depths of Sector's genius. When we are done, all of Earthrealm will honor our desires and heed our demands. If not, they will face the Lin Kuei's wrath. Until recently, I hadn't met Li Mei, but I had heard the stories. How the Umgadi's matron superior blamed her for not preventing Emperor Jared's murder. How she quit in disgrace rather than accept punishment. But those stories didn't fit the woman I now knew. Li Mei would never have been so negligent. Eventually, I uncovered the truth. The failures and mistakes which led to the Emperor's murder, they resulted from poor decisions made by the Matron Superior themselves. They made Li Mei their scapegoat. When the Empress found out, she wanted the Umgadi disbanded. But I convinced her that it could be reformed. To make sure it did, she put me in charge. I am humbled by this sacred responsibility. The Umgadi, my sisters, they are my life. I will not let them be brought down by the acts of a selfish few.